high, you're a runner and you actually have pelvic floor dysfunction, not because you have incontinence, but you have pelvic floor issues. This video is just for you. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dr. Shaki from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy in Irvine, Orange County. Talking about pelvic floor in runners. I see a lot of runners with issues that have to do with pelvic floor and they may be thinking, oh, well, I'm not pregnant, I haven't given birth, and frankly, I'm not even a female. Why is it that I would have a pelvic floor dysfunction? Well, you have to understand when it comes to pelvic floor, it's not just the floor. So people have this misconception that the floor is the genital, and the anus, the space in between, and that's pretty much it. So they're thinking that's the area, there is an outside and there is an inside. What I really want you to concentrate on, especially if you're a runner because you use your legs a lot, the legs or the femur attached in the hip joint to the pelvis, there's a, there are huge rollers, role players of how the pelvic floor will function. Your pelvic floor is not like, it's like a hammock. It's connected to parts. The whole pelvis, which is a pelvic inlet, which sits like a bowl, the whole inside is part of your pelvic floor. So in this bowl, even though you may have a, um, let's say a vagina or a penis and an anus right here in this area, the hips are connected to this bowl the lower back is connected to the top, and those are the players, those are the influencers of your pelvic floor. So if you have issues with your knees, if you have issues with your hip flexors, you will, you do have issues with your pelvic floor function. Now the pelvic floor dysfunction, which is it's not functioning right, will feed the hip flexors issues, the lower back issues, the sacroiliac joint issues with your form when you're running. And that is the part that is 100% being ignored in the runner group. So you may be running, a, you, know, you, may, you may be a triathlete, you may be doing a 5K, you could be doing Boston Marathon, it doesn't matter. You could just do a casual running if you're the bottom portion of your torso, which is your pelvic floor, is compromised. It definitely accentuates the issues you may be suffering from that you're not connecting the dots to. So then the question is, do you actually need a manual pelvic floor exam? And the answer is not necessarily. Actually, in most cases, that's not the case. But then again, it depends on when you start looking into this. So I just wanted to bring that awareness to you because I can see how the runners go after their hip flexors or knee issues or maybe even their shoulder and neck issues when they're running, but then they're, they fail to connect the dots. So that is an area you need to look into if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'm gonna put a link in the description box of my other channel that has all these right movements for core and um, essentially pelvic stabilization and proper movements. If you have any questions, use one of the methods of contact in the description box, call the office if you still need help. Thanks for watching.